So hello aspirants in this lecture of Indian forestry we are going to see the kopais forest system it is a part of our silvicultural systems in the previous lectures we have already saw what is a high forest system and under that we have saw system of concentrated regeneration then system of diffuse regeneration and accessory system in this lecture we will be seeing the various subtypes of your kopais forest systems in the kopais forest system firstly we need to understand what is a kopais we have already dealt with dealt with the definition of kopais in the first lecture of silvicultural systems so a kopais is a kind of a stump when a given tree is cut down then the stump that remains is called as your kopais so let's begin with the first topic or the first subtype of your kopais forest system that is simple kopais system so what so what is a simple kopais system the definition goes like this that is the new crop is obtained from the kopaises the entire forest region is cut down and the new trees or the new shoots starts growing from the kopaises you can understand from this particular diagram this is the forest initially the forest was like this then you start cutting down the entire forest and only the stumps remains and from these kopaises the new shoots started growing up okay so this is your simple kopais system the conditions of applicability is like this it is generally used for social forestry or for the private lands and the example is your eucalyptus globulus try to remember the examples because if you start giving examples in your answers then the then your answer will stand out from the rest of the candidates let's see the next subtype of the kopais forest system that is your kopais of two rotation systems now what does this kopais of two rotation system means that at the end of the first rotation of kopais a few selected poles are left over remember this thing let's understand from the diagram in the in the kopais of two rotation system at the very initial stage there is a natural forest and then you will do the initial felling over here you can see entire forest has been cut down and only kopaises are left after your initial felling you can see the shoots started growing up and the new tree has been come up from the kopaises at the end of the first rotation you have again cut down the trees but certain trees you have left out okay certain trees have been remained so this is your kopais of two rotation system that is at the end of the first rotation you can see at the end of the first rotation after first rotation still there are certain trees that has been left out the objective is to have big size timber the selected poles are retained at the second rotation onwards and not from the initial felling remember this point because these poles or these trees are remained after the first rotation and not from the initial felling at the at the initial felling stage you can see the entire forest has been cut down but after the first rotation certain trees has been left now let's see the third subtype that is your shelter wood kopais system what does it mean it is actually a combination of your shelter wood system and kopais system we have already dealt with what is shelter wood system so the similar concept both shelter wood system and kopais system are combined together in this particular silvicultural operation the objective it is to protect the given forest from frost condition so this particular type of silvicultural operation is generally implemented in your frost areas now let's understand the kopais with standard systems what happens over here is that standards are kept from the very beginning as the permanent feature of the crop let's understand this thing from the diagram see what happens over here is the entire forest is not cut down only certain part is cut down and most of the part is remained the remaining trees are called as the standards and the trees that are cut down from them a new shoot started coming up and that's what is called as your kopaises so you can have two story over here the first story is of the standards and the second story is of your kopais origin that is your kopais with standard system so the objective is over here to have general protection of the given trees as well as to have good size timber standards is of seedling origin as we can see these standards that hasn't been cut down they come directly from the seeds and not from the kopaises okay so the standards are from the seedling origin 
and standards are of different species than of your copais crops so these standards it can happen that these standards are of let's say as a directa indica and the copaises are of your shoria robusta so the standards are different from your copais and crop is composed of two story as we have already saw that the crop is composed of your two story first story is of your standards and the second story is of your copais the next is your copais with reserve system so it is a flexible system as compared to your copais with standard system in the case of copais with standard system the previous one over here it is a very rigid system whereas the copais with reserve system is a kind of flexible system a kind of elastic system in the case of copais with reserve system the crop cannot be differentiated into two story if we compare with the copais with standard system over here you can see that the entire crop can be differentiated into two stories that is this is the first story standards and the second story is of your copais however over here in the copais with reserve system you cannot differentiate the crop into two story then the crops are distributed irregularly over the entire forest and the objective what is the objective over here is to reserve certain trees so as to have the protection for your soil and maintaining the soil fertility this is the major objective so this is your copais with reserve system the next is your copais selection system it is again the combination of your copais and selection system we have already dealt what is selection system in previous lecture if you haven't saw just access the playlist and you can watch the video from there the example is your acacia cutejo and shoria robusta next is your pollard system now what is a pollard you already know what is a copais copais is when a particular tree is cut down the stumps that remain are called as copais but however the copais height is very less so it can happen that animals can graze the new shoots that are coming from the copaises however in the case of pollard the height is very much high so that if the new shoots are coming up then the animals cannot eat those new shoots this is the concept behind your pollard so cutting off the tree stem above the browsing height browsing height means a height where a animal cannot eat the particular shoot so as to obtain the flush of shoots now what is the example salix alba and hardwickia binata these are the two examples which are generally grown with your pollard system now let's see the let, let's see certain previous year questions explain pollarding system this has been asked in 2022 again compare copais with standard system and copais with rotation system this is again asked in your 2022 and in 2016 describe in brief simple copais system what are the types of copais system so you just have to give an explanation of the simple copais system and also make the diagram then what are the types of the copais system you just have to mention the names so this is all about your silvicultural systems in the next lecture we will see certain other topics of your indian forestry thank you